young woman and her family are celebrating what they call a rebirth. A year ago today, Jacqueline Pellico was riding in the passenger side of a Jeep when it was T-boned. The crash sent Jacqueline into an unresponsive state, but now she's proving miracles do exist. KTSM 9 News reporter Selena Quintana has more on this story. She joins us now in the studio. Jacqueline Pellicott's life changed forever a year ago, but despite what some doctors believed, she continues to beat the odds and is sharing her story. She hopes to bring awareness on what it's like recovering from a traumatic brain injury. A road to recovery. Now 21-year-old Jacqueline Pellicott proves her strength after overcoming odds. After being crushed in a car wreck on October 30th, 2018, she was left fighting for her life. So as we arrived at UMC, they put us in a quiet room and all they would tell us is, we're working on her, we're working on her. The crash was so violent, Jacqueline's brain shifted and swelled quickly, forcing doctors to remove pieces of her skull. Some doctors even told her family Jacqueline may never walk or talk again. But none of them gave up. They left their old lives and moved to Houston so Jacqueline could be at a research and rehabilitation center. This, our life is right here. You basically, I, and I was telling someone this the other day, you, you pretty much stop living life, but you go through the motions day in and day out of getting her better. Jacqueline's family telling me the journey was painful and long, but she slowly gained her strength. And it's kind of like watching grass grow, you know, it just, it doesn't seem like any progress is going forward, but it is, you know. We look back at pictures and we think, oh my gosh, she actually has come a really long way because when you're in it, you're just, you have all the faith and hope that, you know, she's okay. They say Jacqueline is a success story and remembers the first words she was able to say months after the crash. I said, Jacqueline, I love you. And she said, I love you too. And I looked at her in shock, like, did that just come out of her mouth or am I hearing things? Because, you know, we wanted to hear her talk for so long. Now she's talking softly and walking with some help. Through their journey, the Pellicott family also helped others by sharing Jacqueline's story to those recovering from similar injuries. Really, really great friends, and we can't, we just can't wait till she gets to go back and give her testimony. Um, we're excited about that because she's going to, you can't wait, and she wants to give it to, you know, schools, and she actually wants to talk about car safety and, and, not being distracted while you're driving and that's going to be one of her we want to have a foundation and it's going to be called Jacqueline Strong eventually that's the future and that's that's what we're looking to since her recovery the Pellicott family has moved back to El Paso they tell me they will be traveling back to the rehabilitation center in Houston where they were asked to share their story Jacqueline's picture will also be added to the center's wall of success stories Selena Quintana, KTSM 9 News. Thank you very much.